So again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio in the gallery, and this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I am going to use my spatula, I think, right after I get frisky. With some really hot colors. And some maybe not so hot colors. Um, this is this is an enamel. I don't often use it, but I'm gonna use it more often. <laughs> that was supposed to be my orange, which I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of few dribbles. Maybe I'll leave that right off so I can clean the tip out. I cleaned the tip out earlier. <laughs> and now it's cleaned out again. I've got some black enamel that I'm ready to um, hopefully, come on, must be time to clean the threads too. So I'm going to try and keep these uh, in a similar family. And then I'm planning on attempting to swipe. Maybe some magenta. Oh, there's the magenta. Kind of want to slip something dramatic in there in between. Hmm. That's the 24 karat gold from Decor Americana with a little bit of orange in it. And this is my Velveeta color with that lump I saw. And I think what I'm going to do is use up the end of my... That's so frustrating! My color shifting orange from Folk Art because it's actually so much prettier when it dries. I just... I'm surprised at how much I like it. And because I can, I think I'm just going to follow my instinct. After I remove... Okay, I have tweezers. I know where they are. I knew where they were. There they are. That's got to go. Now, if I don't mix these until I swipe, I'll probably be okay. You know what? I'm going to go for broke. I'm going to add some yellow, which is not something I I do very often. That is a pretty acid yellow. I thought I had another coat there I have it. Cool. Whoops. <laughs> At least it wasn't on a painting, right? Okay, so I'm going to take my puddles and move them around. And I'll look for whatever is... I saw it. I saw several it's actually that can go. I am intending on swiping unless something miraculous happens where I don't want to anymore. It's definitely my plan. I just keep finding things that don't belong. That might have been just a bubble. Now, what? At some other point in time, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to squirt black into there in a random pattern and see what happens. I should do that now. <laughs> I should. And I want to pick up... Oh yes! My purple flash. And whatever was in it. Keeping it from coming out. I want the Venetian blue, but I think that until I get closer to where I'm done tipping, I should not do that.
Yes, I'm sticking my fingers in the paint. Try not to mix them up too much. Okay, so now I think it's time to just go ahead and use up the black enamel. wherever I want. And let me find it. It is right here. Cool. And it's not open. <laughs> yes, it's sort of open. I did something similar to this earlier today. We don't want to knock that over. And we don't want that in the way. And I do want my tweezers because I keep seeing things. I also want to use my little scrape, my little pan to scrape off. And I'm going to just keep moving colors. Put the black enamel. And once I get to a point or I've made a decision about what else I'm going to do, I'll do that. So I'm just filling in right now. I'm thinking about things like metallic white. Because I can, the name of that book, my book, my first book, volume one. See, I trust nature, and nature never makes a mistake. <laughs> and I figure if I just follow my instincts and have some fun playing, I'll probably be okay. It's not always the way it works out, but often it is. And I'm probably going to tip this. For sure not done having fun. I may not tip it too. Just one stroke at a time, being a little bit gentle. Just trying to make it to the edge of the canvas and fill in somewhat. I can always stick my finger in. I don't have to use a spatula every time. Keep an eye out for detrius. Know that I can drag that spatula. I can even take the paint I already took off, as long as it's not too far gone. So I can leave that yellow, which I like that yellow, it's very dramatic. Just drag my spatula right up. I think this is fun. I think I just had a whole lot of fun. I don't want to have so much fun that I ruin it though. I am going to look for any spots like that. Drag my paint over the edge. You can always dip your spatula into heavy paint and add a little something something. I'm pretty happy with this to tell you the truth. So I'm going to call it good pretty quick. Come on, stop spinning. The problem with a great turntable is it spins. I haven't done any spin art yet. My spin art only looks like... My art that only looks like spin art is never spun. It's always spatula dragged. So that is pretty cool. It doesn't keep me from wanting to... Add a little, oh yeah, I like that. You can do other things like 
add texture with your spatula, but I have some really neat cells. And as much as I want to make more cells, I like the pattern that I've got, so it's really hard to convince me, convince myself right now. Ooh, and I did open that up. Cool. See, this is a primary example of why I shouldn't be afraid of yellow. Just trying to lead that paint right toward the edge. I'm also not, not overly comfortable with neon pink, but I'm pretty well happy with it right at the moment. I think I'm almost done making my extreme lines. She said making yet one more. I think it's time to uh, give a little torch. Yeah, I like it. I like to make sure I've got paint all the way to my edges. So this is Priscilla Battelle in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Thank you for all the donations that help keep me painting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And should you happen to be somebody who is interested in helping support the production of videos, PayPal and Patreon are available for your convenience and mine on my channel header and also under the link tree, which is the first blue link under the video. You will also find there, under the video, Teespring Clothing, which is all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and lots more stuff. Fine Art America and Pixels.com are under the link tree, and they have shower curtains and duvet covers and yoga mats and you name it. And all of your purchases help me out, and they're a great face masks if you're interested in those at Fine Art America. I could put some gold in there, but I think I'm okay. Um, I am having a moment where I think that I might indulge myself and a little bit more yellow right there, just because I like the idea of drawing the eye around back and forth. And now I am really happy. I'm going to have to take some color and color match some of my places on my edges. But I think it's time for me to contemplate torching to release the bubbles in the paint. And we might get lucky and release some patterns in the paint too. Wipes will often do that, spatula or otherwise. This is a wild one. I'm going to try and stay away from this edge because I know I need to... Look. I'm just going to steal some paint and make it, make it work right there, right now. I'll torch after. <laughs> I got plenty of time left. I didn't have a whole lot of time to play anyway. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for watching the videos longer. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for watching them when the notifications come out. Be aware you won't be getting email notifications, I don't believe, like you have in the past after August 17th. So if you're a fan and you're interested, you might want to know that I post at 11.30 a.m. weekdays and 11.30 a.m. and p.m. on Friday night and Saturday night also. I can put a little bit more of this. And by the time I stick my finger in there, it will blend just perfectly. And I've got plenty, whoops, that was my arm. I've got plenty of other paint, well, maybe not plenty, but I've got enough paint that's, that came from this original composition to, uh, to put it on my edges. I love you guys, there's almost 89,000 of you. Thank you so much for being here. And what am I forgetting? I told you all that the link tree has Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter links, and Sachi, and my website. Should you be interested in a lesson, or a purchase. The purchase of artworks is very, very beneficial to me. Um, they're not inexpensive. They're protected for their collectors at a certain price point. But if you like a print, or you have a question, if you like a print, I'll always add anything you ask me for to Fine Art America or Pixels.com. I'm not trying to color match my edges so much as I'm just trying to cover them. And that is what I'm doing. I just found out I, I funnel... Hmm.
Yes, I stopped myself dead in the middle of a sentence, I know. I'm like that sometimes. I get to listening to my muse and it's probably a good thing. So you guys take care of each other and take care of yourselves. My pouring recipe is under the video. I'm still working along and I'm going to use this paint to cover my edges like I said. And then I'll be gone. I'm sure there's stuff I didn't tell you. <laughs> Facebook group is expression to start studio gallery appreciation group it is for students and you can find it on the link tree. Expression to start studio gallery totes and more shows you what I've been posting to fineartamericopixels.com since 2013. Expression to start studio gallery fans and collectors has edited wet and dry artworks. Well, it has edited artworks from YouTube, not all of them. Uh, check out my new slideshows re recently. I've got some digital and I've got landscapes and I'm not sure what else will be there by the time you see this because I love making little slideshows and you guys seem to like them too so I'm not going to stop doing that anytime soon. And I'm going to use up all my paint and that's really awesome because it's dinner time. It's time to go feed the dogs. One more side and I'll be done. That's looking pretty good. I'm sure nobody's still here, but I wouldn't be. I'm going to throw my spatula in the bucket. I'm going to have a quick look to see if there's anything that I want to waggle. Yep, I think a couple waggles won't hurt anything. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you anon. Good enough. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I'll zoom in for you. There we go. See you soon, hopefully tomorrow. Check out my community board and look for 1,500 videos organized by, in playlists by the genre and by the hundred. See you guys. Bye for now.